This video is about how you can import the CA cert and the servo cert into the PFSense firewall. As you can see on my screen, I have the CA cert and servo cert. Servo cert is in PEM as well as in PKCS12 format. And the servo cert is a bundle. The cert and the key is bundled into the PKCS12 file format with the help of passphrase we have encrypted that so let's uh, move on to our pxns firewall so this is our pxns firewall 2.6 release So to import the certificate, click on System tab and go to Cert Manager. So there are two search certificate tabs available. One is for PA cert, another one is the device cert or the server. So first we'll try with the CA cert. So click the first option, which is CA. Click on add, and if you would have noticed that there is no option to import the PKCS file format, it is only going to accept the PEM format. So I've checked this particular option, import an existing certificate authority, and I'm going to name it as test ca and then i'm going to click this option so that my pfsense firewall will trust this uh, caso and here i will have to copy paste the data so let me go back to the file which is in temp format for the cas so this is my caso in M format. I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm going to copy the certificate information. So this is the certificate information. I'm going to copy this into my PFN CA term. So the private key for this particular certificate is not required, it is optional. But then if you have the separate unencrypted uh, key, then you can copy paste the key. In my case, I do not have the unencrypted key. So it is bundled in PKCS12 file, but unfortunately, PFSense will not have the PKCS12 file format, which will have the bundled certificate and key and code using passwords. So I'm going to keep it as one. And then you can click save. This will then save the CA cert. You can see here test CA with all the information showing as self and so that means uh, we are able to upload the or import the CA cert successfully. Now let's move on to the server here. Click on certificate. Click on and select the option import existing certificate, name it as test server. And here you can see two options. One is the PEM, another one is the PKCS12 format. So, unlike uh, CA, 
tab where we were supposed to upload only any format file. Here you get the option to load both of them. So in my case, I'm going to use PKPS12 format. And I'm going to add the same file that I have. So I'm going to browse and I'm going to select the same file. Now I have selected the file which is in PKCS12 format, which contains the key and the certificate. Now I'll have to use the passphrase here that I've used while exporting the PKCS12 format file. Now let's try to save this. So you can see here, I'm able to import the certificate and all the information. Here. And you can see the attribute here, CA no, server yes, name of the issuer, details of the certificate, Similarly here as well. Now, once imported, you can use the certificate for various applications and services on your PF sensor. That's all in this video. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and see you in the next video. Bye.